Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a review slash first impression video on the new NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. Like I, I've been hearing a lot, a lot, a lot about this foundation. This is the NYX collaboration with Alyssa Ashley. They came out with an like enormously large foundation range. I think it was like 40 plus shades that they came out with from really light to really dark which is super amazing and nyx actually sent me over this uh, package i received it yesterday and i know i'm a little bit late but i was holding out for this package because um i was expecting it and i didn't want to go buy it and then have to return that or you know anything like that so yes we will be doing a first impression my face isn't primed so i'm just gonna go ahead and prime it i'm gonna use the benefit professional primer and usually when i do these reviews i don't prime my skin but i am doing a makeup tutorial so um i don't want to look weird i guess i don't know it doesn't really make a difference but i just want to make sure that i prime my skin today is usually my shade in a lot of foundations and then they sent over mocha so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch each of them like on my cheek Maybe on this side because this side has a bibble on it. Okay, so first we have Sienna. Hmm. I think I might go with mocha. I think I might mix mocha with deep sable. Just like one pu one pump of mocha and like um like two pumps of deep sable just to see how because okay, so Sienna is just a little too light for me right now, but Sienna could possibly be like a like a winter shade. Mocha is a little too red in undertone for me, but it's definitely more of like a winter shade for me or a summer shade for me. And Deep Sable is like that in between like fall, spring shade where you're kind of getting a little darker, you kind of get a little lighter, that shade right there. But I definitely like the mocha has a little bit more of a red undertone and my skin just naturally has a little bit of a red undertone so i like to have a little bit of red in my foundation but not too much to where the point like to the point where it looks like i look red i don't like that so i'm gonna take like they're actually pretty big pumps so i'll take like a pump and a half of deep sable and i'll take like a half pump of mocha and then mix the two in the back of my hand So maybe I need just like a little bit more mocha because this is a little too golden for me personally. And if you can look like right here as opposed to like my chest, I just need a little bit more of that like mocha red shade. So I'm gonna pounce this on my skin. Yeah, that adds like a, a little bit better of a so I should probably take two pumps of mocha to like one pump of deep sable just so that way I have a little bit of that golden base undertone in my foundation but I still have that red base too because this is like a better shade match for me. And keep in mind after highlighting it and contouring and everything like that it'll be a little bit better of a like a like a look i feel like a mad scientist mixing this foundation on the back of my hand which is unfortunate because as a woman of color you would hope that like foundations would have a nice undertone I and mean, you know they do they do and i like that 
Deep Sable has a more golden, Mocha has a more red, Sienna is a little bit more golden as well. But when you have so many different... <laughs> Like when so many different undertones look good on your skin tone and some don't, you have to mix. But this foundation is actually pretty, pretty. Like it looks really good on the skin and it doesn't feel very heavy. And it does say that it's full coverage. It's a full coverage foundation. So I'm really happy that it doesn't feel full coverage. It actually looks pretty darn flawless. Like it actually looks really good. Especially when I look in this viewfinder, like it looks good. This is, this is exciting. I'm really excited that, that this foundation looks good. Besides the fact of having to mix two, it looks really, 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 really good on the skin. Okay, so I will say that even though, like, okay, so I just recently found, like started wearing the Milani Conceal and Define foundation. And that foundation is a lot thicker like it's full coverage, but it's a lot thicker of a consistency and foundation than this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. This Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation is a lot thinner, but it is a full coverage foundation. Like look at my skin right now. It looks really, really, really good. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't even look cakey. It honestly, it honestly looks like my skin, but better. Like I am like, really 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 happy with this foundation i'm really 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 happy like Alyssa and nyx did that motherfucking thing like they did that like, like, this is amazing and i really really love that these brands are asking and finding influencers especially women of color influencers black influencers to be like hey we want to create a shade range, a really good shade range and foundations, and we want to know what you guys look for. We want you guys to find a foundation that will really work for you. It's full coverage. It doesn't feel very heavy. It's lightweight. It's a beautiful finish, a beautiful matte, semi-matte finish. I would assume it's a little bit more of a matte finish, and it works for everybody. And they're like, hey, Let's grab Jackie Ina. Let's grab Alyssa Ashley, two of the biggest influencers in the black community and in the beauty game in general. So that just makes me so happy. It just it just makes me happy for the future. It gives me hope that maybe I could do this one day with a brand or just do this with my own brand or anything like that. Super, super, super exciting. This looks really, really, really great. I am gonna come back on after I finish the rest of my face. So I'm gonna do my concealer, all of that, set everything and let you guys see it when everything else is on. So that way you guys can see the difference. But so far, so good. Like I'm not gonna do a wear test or anything like that because I'm honestly gonna take this shit off like right when I get done filming because I got a ton of running around to do and like a softball game and just so I'm not gonna do a wear test but I'm sure there are videos with wear tests but so far so good it looks really good so I'll be back once everything is done to give you guys my final thoughts see how everything molds and melds together and honestly like if I were that girl <laughs> I would wear this foundation out by itself like when I like when I was in high school and I only wore foundation like this would be a foundation that I would wear all I do is put a little bit under my eye and flawless a little bit of highlighter flawless flawless like who's that girl la 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 she's that girl la, 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 la. all right you guys so I'm back this is the completed face with all of my contouring and highlighting and concealing and one thing i will say right off the bat is this foundation is matte so if you're if you're dry or if you're normal it might be a little drying for you personally for your skin type um but it is pretty pretty matte i had to spray my face twice i sprayed it once with or once with the nyx dewy finish setting spray and then i sprayed it again with the mario badescu facial spray um, which is back there, but I sprayed my face twice and I felt like it's still kind of tight right now um, And I'm oily, but so far so good. This foundation looks like this is like like the best my skin has looked like It looks really 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 good with this foundation like this foundation is great And I think it's gonna end up being my holy grail. It does say that it's a 24 hour It's up to 24 hours of a matte finish um it's matte, y'all. <laughs> it is matte. Like, it's matte to the point where it's, like, kind of, like, tight. 
but I might just have to moisturize differently when I wear this foundation because I did use my La Roche-Posay matte finish um, face lotion because I'm oily but I might have to use like my water gel cream by Vichy instead of using this because or instead of using the matte foundation with the matte lotion because I think that's going to be a little too matte and a little too dry if I could say that can I say that <laughs> but I think that just might not work too well but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really love this foundation I believe it retails for about anywhere between 12 to 15 dollars a bottle so it is a little bit more on the expensive side of drugstore, but I think NYX foundations usually range for about $12, but I say go for it. Like, if you're looking for a really bomb, full coverage, matte finish foundation, pick up this foundation. It's so, so, so good, and it doesn't look very heavy. Like, looking at my skin, I'm like, bitch, like, flawless, like... I'm out y'all because this is I I'm just keep I'm gonna keep talking about how great this foundation is it's really 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 it's really good I actually like this foundation more than I like the cover effects um power play power play foundation that was another foundation that was full coverage matte and had a good shade range but I, I like this foundation better than I like that one that one's a little bit more like thicker this one's not mm -mm. pick up this one drugstore matte full coverage and bomb Alyssa Ashley you did your thing NYX Y'all did y'all thing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And if you want to see this makeup look, I'll have it listed at the end of this video. So you can check this out. Because it's popping. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye, guys. Bye.